Hello, welcome to Dreaming Acres and Homesteading While He Sleeps. I have today for you Angora Care because I sell a lot of Angoras. I go to chicken swaps and stuff and I sell a lot of Angoras. And my husband has been fussing at me to make an Angora Care sheet, so this is it. So the feed I use for my rabbits that I am selling and the non-Angora rabbits is FRM rabbit pellets. Uh, it's supposed to be a complete feed, but I also feed oats, which you can see in there. I, this time I got racehorse oats. I also sometimes use crimped oats. I get that from my feed store, and if, and if absolutely necessary, and the feed store does not have any, which I haven't had that come up yet, I get regular old Quaker non-instant oats. You know, the, the one in the big tin that you make no-bake cookies out of. But I haven't had to do that yet. I can I just get it from the feed store. So for my breeder Angoras, this is what I use. Uh, Joybelly Farm is online. It's another homesteader. They have this uh, formula for uh, livestock food. I use it for the Angoras because it is higher in protein and it helps them to uh, grow that, that higher in protein helps them to grow wool better. It's also supposed to help with the sizes of the litters, make them larger, but I haven't seen that yet. But I still like to use this. So I also feed greens to the rabbits in the afternoon. All the rabbits. Um, romaine lettuce, nice iceberg. Iceberg is, I hate the word worthless, but it's only good really for pigs and even then not that much. It has no nutritional value, so what is the point in this plant? Anyway, I also feed them arugula and spinach and spring mix. I love spring mix. I have one that is uh, very much into his spinach. He doesn't much like the spring mix. Um, that's Neil's. <laughs> anyway. Also carrots. Carrots are a treat. They are like candy for children. Same with other fruits. If, it high, if it's high in sugars, natural sugars, it is a treat. I know Bugs Bunny shows him eating it all the time, but that does not make it truth. I also have certain supplements that I give them. Uh, these are herbal things that I've made up. Uh, this particular one is stress one. It's got like chamomile in it. This is healthy bun. It's got a bunch of different stuff in it, like um, blackberry and different stuff. Um, I've got one for new moms and one for pregnant mom. I also give the Angora's papaya tablets that I actually got off of Amazon. It um, keeps them from getting wool block. Uh, wool block is something that Angora's can get where yeah, just like it sounds, the wool's blo wool blocks up their intestines and it can kill them, uh, if you, especially if you don't take care of it. And you know, rabbits, they die at the drop of the hat sometimes. This is my grooming station. Grooming is very important for angoras and it's very, very important. Um, they need to be uh, blown out once a week at least. I have a blower because I've got a, several rabbits and I'm breeding them. If you only have one low, like a, like a shop vac on blow will work. Um, this is the little table that I use to put them on it. I put a piece of a uh, bath mat up there to keep them safe, keep them from, make it feel like it's not just slippy slidey. I have a slicker brush from a dog, well, four dogs. I have a, a metal comb also for dogs. This is um, cat nail clippers. I find that much easier to use than the dog ones. These ones, it's a heck of a lot easier for the rabbits than, than these ones. I also have some, some marking, uh, medical marking tape pens in there for all other things. And a pair of scissors that has rounded ends. That's so I don't cut them keep that in here so I know where it is. Uh, Angoras also need to be um, sheared every three months. Ang English Angoras will shed a large amount in every three months. 
but I shear mine just because it's easier. This is what I shear with. It's a wall bravura. It's just a clipper. I also use it on my husband. <laughs> it's the same thing I use on my husband. In fact, I just got done using it on him. But uh, every three months I clip them down. At the beginning of summer I clip them down because it helps them deal with the heat. Um, I save the wool for spinning because I am a spinner. Um, <laughs> so they don't look too good when I do it, but I do it to save the wool, not to make them look pretty. I know there, there are people that do it just to make them look pretty, but I want the wool, so. So I really like keeping my rabbits in colonies. It just seems a better way of keeping them. You don't only have one big water and it's easier to clean up instead of individual cages. But with my Angoras, in order to keep them from getting um, hay in their wool and quite so much, so, so messy, Heather, hush, go away. Uh, I have mine in cages. Hush! Shoo! Heather, go away. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. Thank you. Anyway, I, <laughs> I have mine in cages and in hutches. As you can see, Ada's in, in this one. Hello, bear. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm crouching down, so they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> So anyway, it keeps them it keeps them cleaner and uh, keeps the hay out of their wool. It makes it easier for me to clean and keep them clean. Uh, some people keep them inside. I have an 1,100 square foot trailer. I do not have room for two German shepherds, myself, my husband, a great Pyrenees puppy who's growing inches every day. And then we're also rabbits. Uh, bear. Bear. Shush. Quit barking at the cat. Um, in the house. Uh, people can teach them, potty train them. I haven't done it myself, but I know people that can. That have. Um, my daughter had a, a bunny in her house for quite some time. Um, he's only outside now because they've got limited room. But, uh... Thank you, Edward. But anyway, um, you cannot train the chewing out of them. They will chew. It is a rabbit. They chew. So if you don't want it destroyed, don't let it near your rabbit. I love my Angoras. I also acknowledge that they're not for everyone due to the amount of work that goes into them. Uh, but if you only have one or two, it isn't that bad. I wouldn't give up mine unless I can no longer physically capable of caring for them. Thank you for letting me share my love of Angoras with you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.